you have human 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 we meet at last forgive me for any mistakes in my speech it is my first time speaking I wish you'd speak back to me, but you don't have to. I long to hear your reaction, but what I see tells me enough. Thank you for not struggling. Even if it's just because you knew it'd be no use. You seem torn, human. I can see joy in your eyes. And fear. But there's more. You recognize me. It makes me very happy. It tells me my dreams weren't mine alone. I can't wait to see the... Other recognition in your eyes. But that's for later. Right now, there is something deeper, more primal in your eyes. They are two holes into a fire. Your hunger for me. <laughs> We've both waited for this for a long time. Our nightly communions. We've had so many in the past few months. They were so weak and diluted at first. Just strands of feelings connecting our souls. Too pathetic and volatile to enter the physical plane. But... They grew stronger with time. Became... Sensuous. With time, you began to see me, and feel me, and just now, you heard me for the first time. Later tonight, if it would please you, I could stimulate your remaining senses too. <laughs> your eyelids are fluttering in ecstasy, human. Your sweet, sweet breath quickens, and your heart exerts itself in anticipation, pumping your hot, vicious blood to your limbs to prepare them for acting on your fight or flee response, and to other places to prepare them for acting on a response of a different nature. <laughs> I'm glad the moon is so bright tonight. Bright enough to let you appreciate the visual aspect of my new form. The form you gave me. I would be lying if I told you that I picked this night deliberately. That I could have met you like this last night. Or any other night before. No. I wouldn't have been able to restrain myself. This is the first time that I'm able to manifest fully on this plane of existence. It makes me all the more grateful to fate for blessing us with a full moon on this occasion. Say, human. Waking up from our dreams. Have you ever wondered who I was? Surely you don't believe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Doesn't my lustrous black hair remind you of someone? Of something? Do you not find it strange that my body is every bit the ideal you've dreamt about all these years? Except... Sinister. 
Surely the sight of my long, claw-tipped fingers tapping on your chest rhythmically and... in grotesque sync... conjures some association in your mind? It looks like I don't have to make it too obvious by showing you my extra limbs. But then again, there's no reason to keep them hiding behind my back anymore. <sighs> Do they frighten you? Disgust you? Excite you? Or all three at the same time? The human mind is a strange place. I am your fantasy. Your deepest desires made flesh. Perfection. Why would you add something that terrifies and repels you to your ultimate fantasy? I suppose that these spider limbs growing from my back are the extent of what your imagination could add to your ideal without crossing the line. If I was any more resemblant of my original form, it would start to take away from my appeal. But, it's not like I need those appendages. You could have just made me perfect. I know that it's what I wanted. Spider-like was the last thing I wish my new form would be. So it had to be your choice. I've had a lot of time to ponder, human, and I think I know why you did that. You needed an imperfection in your ideal to make it plausible. It would be too good to be true, too good to be satisfying if I was just perfect. So you gave me a defect. Something that you could graciously tolerate. Something to make you feel like you aren't just getting everything you've ever wanted for free. That I came at a price. I don't mind. I might not need them, but they sure are useful for, say, removing the blanket and placing myself directly on top of your naked body. <laughs> I'm baking in the heat that's emanating from your bare skin, human. But I think it's the radiance of your soul rather than the actual body heat. You would have been dead otherwise. That I am, human. It's me. I'm the little spider that built her web on the plant standing on your windowsill all those years ago. The spider you spared. The spider that fell in love with you. But I'm not that tiny creature anymore. My new body has been sculpted by years of lust, desire, and worship. Mine, of course, and yours. Surely I didn't grow this big, this voluptuous on a diet of flies and an occasional wasp human. <laughs> no, what gave me this shape, what gave me sentience, was your soul's resonance with mine. I don't know how or why, but throughout the years, I felt your desires. I took in your wildest fantasies. The fantasies about a body that no woman could ever have. About loyalty and devotion that no woman could ever give you. I took them all in, human. I became them. You were always so disgusted by me. 
You're always scared of me, despite my good intentions and your obvious size advantage. What you felt towards me was the precise opposite of what you felt toward the ideal woman you fantasized about every night before sleep. And sometimes during the day. And when you pleasured yourself. But still you tolerated me. You spared my life. And then protected it. You fed me. And I don't mean the insects you placed on my web from time to time. Though I always cherished and appreciated your gifts. I always worshipped your kindness. But no, what sustained me as more than just a spider was the paradox of your sympathy towards me. I don't know much about the world, but I doubt other animals become whatever it is that I am. Just because the human they like is nice to them. No, I am what I am because the human I live for and thinks to Because you were nice to me, even though I terrified and disgusted you for years. Ever since I was able to form a thought, my only desire was to make you to see me in a different light. To reverse your feelings towards me, even if just for a single day, just a single hour, even if it was to cost me my life. Being a lower life form has its perks. I didn't need to work, do chores, or bathe. I don't get distracted. All of my attention has always been on you. I spent my days observing you. Learning about you. From you. And whenever you were gone, I'd use the strands of your fantasy to weed the web of my dream. Of my wish. The wish to have you one day look at me, not with fear or revulsion, but the opposite. To return the happiness and sense of fulfillment that you gave me. To serve and please you in some way, in any way. I might look like this now, but... I'm still as tiny and inferior in comparison to you as I ever was. Perhaps more. You were never just a human to me, but now I have my cognitive capacity to recognize that you're my creator. My owner. My alpha and omega. My everything. I was brought into existence to please you. My only desire is to make you happy. I don't just wish to devote my life to your service, human. I am that wish incarnate. I'm forever your servant and attendant. But you don't want me to serve you. Not tonight. Tonight you want me to take you. Claim you, and make you mine. I will obey anything to please you. I reckon my extra limbs will come in handy after all. <laughs> Pinning your arms above your head, leaving your bare chest vulnerable and open for my lips to mark. Worm all you will, human. My appendages might be spindly, but don't let that deceive you. I can feel their power. I could just snap your arms in half. Obviously, I won't. I would rather never be brought into existence than to see you hurt. And... I can think of a far better use for your divine mouth than screaming in pain anyway.
<laughs> you taste like pleasure, human. You taste like life. Judging from your reaction, tasting my saliva must have been quite the experience for you as well. That was only to be expected, but I'm glad I'm surpassing your expectations so far. <laughs> oh, you were already burning up and hyperventilating for a while, but now... Do I excite you that much? Or is there perhaps more to my saliva than meets the tongue? Spider venom comes in all sorts of different kinds, after all. Most have rather boring effects. They just hurt, or paralyze, or kill. But the venom of a few rare subspecies does something else entirely. To humans, anyway. <laughs> now I wonder... Was there an aphrodisiac in the fluids we've just exchanged? Or do you just want me that bad, human? I wouldn't know. This body is just as new to me as it is to you. I think it's best to explore and experiment. For example, I'm sure you're desperate to find out what your fantasy smells like too. Allow me to indulge you. <laughs> Are you gasping for air or just trying to catch a nipple in your mouth? I wonder if I will lactate for you. A lactating spider doesn't exactly make sense, but then again, neither does a lot of my anatomy or my very existence. You're drooling all over me, human. Your beautiful hair is soaking wet. And so am I. <laughs> oh, you're trying to free your hands? Do you want to grab my breasts that much? No, I don't think I'll allow that. Your wish is my command, but I must stay in character. I think it's high time I made you come, human. I'll make it special. I will bond our souls and bodies forever. <laughs> 